Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 6 Today I'm taking a look at Red Dragon's Air Pro headset, which seems to be Red Dragon's answer to the call for ultra lightweight headsets we've seen executed well from other brands, most specifically Logitech. The question is, is this a viable alternative to some already well-priced, job-achieving competitive contenders that are already on the market? And do they offer anything different? But before we get into that... Another big thanks for helping make these videos possible to PCB Way. If you have a project in mind, be sure and swing by and check out the massive menu of offerings from them. Anything from CNC work, 3D printing, to blank slate PCBs. PCB Way offers you a lot of services for you to get your start on. There'll be a link down below. Don't forget to go check them out for all of your possible project needs. The H848 is a 2.4 GHz or Bluetooth or wired 40 mm driver ultra lightweight headset weighing in by my scale at 184 grams and offering some comfort while boasting some solid communications. In the box we get a user guide that covers a bit about the headset as well as a 3.5 mm boom mic, a USB A to C for charging or for wired mode, the dongle for 2.4 GHz, and the headset itself. The very malleable boom mic uh, uses a proprietary notch 3.5 millimeter stereo aux input and an affixed bulbous windscreen. I know a lot of people are going to want to hear what the mic has to sound like, so we're going to pause here and do that real quick. I have not yet played this back, so until I do, we're kind of somewhat hearing it together. I mean, I'll hear it first in editing, but you get what I mean. Okay, so what you're hearing right now is the microphone on this headset. I haven't heard it in playback yet, other than just a mild test to set it up, so we'll kind of find out together how is it with plosives. It's got this big, like, windscreen on the, on the boom, so hopefully pretty pretty decent. Uh, what I'm going to do next is turn around and type at a keyboard and it's raw audio recording and that's important to note because uh, things like Discord or RTX Voice, these are things that are going to go ahead and kind of cancel out some of that background noise if you have something like a mechanical keyboard. Anyways, let's do that now. I'm going to start typing in just a moment here and you're going to see if it's rejecting well. The left top ear cup features an eerily similar layout to the Logitech G435 and is to me very easy and friendly to navigate, so maybe that's why. On the eye, the power is on default to gaming mode, which is the 2.4 GHz dongle connection mode, but a double press of that will activate Bluetooth or Bluetooth pairing mode. A long press powers it off. Below this are the pretty self-explanatory volume up and volume down, and a mic mute button just below that. Go a little bit lower and that's the USB-C input for charging or wired mode. Now I will say when I hooked it up to be wired mode, it did take it a second for the PC to, I guess, install a different driver from it so that it could see it was on there, and it'll show up as H848 in your PC. When listening on them, all I have to say is, wow, I was surprised. I anticipated a tinny, less rounded, weak from the high sort of sound. They offer some truly great rounded sound. If anything negative is to be said about it, it's a little, and I mean a little, just a smidge on the low end heavy, which should be surprising to some. And it's just only ever so slightly muddled to me. But with a solid enough separation from the mids and highs, it doesn't specifically bother me. Audio is subjective though, and everyone's ears are different, so I can pretty much just speak for myself, and for me, these are solid. Don't expect a lot of sound isolation when wearing them. I can still very much hear things around me. The light, airy, circumoral design of the uh, ear pads, they're comfortable, but don't do much in terms of immersion. And for me, that's fine personally, but I know some people like to be removed from their surroundings and their environments when they're listening to music or watching a movie you're playing a game. People that are looking for the most competitive edge, this next note is for you. This is a strong stereo headset which offers some noteworthy directional audio with virtual directional placement, but it will not offer the most pinpoint accurate location of a sound. It's great and good enough for most, but it's not top shelf 3 plus digit sound excellence. I like this company. I have for many years. If you watched me, you know this. I'm not afraid to say when I don't like something they make, and I'm sometimes apprehensive to praise them when they do something good like this. I don't know why. The ire is my cup of tea and easily recommendable for now by me. A great addition to the Red Dragon family, and a stark reminder that a brand is capable of pulling off from time to time great feats like this. It's both familiar to things I already know, and differently better with the things that it has to offer. I hope you have a great day night, whatever it is, and I'll see you in the next video that I do.